Hello everybody, my name is Killzone007 and welcome back to Life is Strange. So, um, what happened, uh, my, uh, video that I had before already set got corrupted and my webcam apparently was not, like, in the video at all. So, and also I kind of copyrighted music, so I'm kind of happy it kind of got messed up. But what has, so far what happened was I, as Max, had to convince Chloe I had powers in the, her diner, in the diner, which her mom runs. And everything worked out, everything was fine, everything was okay. And so what happened... Uh, we went to the junkyard and we're testing out the powers and stuff like that. So now I use my power so much, Max uses her power so much, it knocks her out. She starts bleeding from her nose a little bit and things like that. It's a little bit crazy that's been going on. And um, I'm in a junkyard. I had to find like five bottles to shoot it with the pistol, apparently. So um, what happened? There was a deer, but it was like a see through kind of deer. Not like it, it was all there, but like. You can see the background, and she, she took a picture of it, and now, and when the picture came out, there is no deer. So I don't know if it's messing with her reality or augmenting the timeline a little bit, but we shall see. So I'm waking up from that situation that uh, I passed out. My power. Try to turn down the volume a little bit. Morning. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. I think it's taking Too it takes so much out of her bot. Yep. Maybe not enough. <laughs> I think it takes fun. so much Scary out of her to stupid, do her power. And that's fun. the problem. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Alright. Well, I, I don't feel like up, Chloe. Yeah, I don't feel like roaming around because I've been here for a moment. Um, off, <laughs> off the camera, obviously, since that okay. corruption happened. Looks like but you're yeah, ready to lock and load. Yep, let's go. So what do we do now? I don't it's... know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Well. Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, There's... it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I Who's this fuck? Gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Uh-oh. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. Uh, I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Uh oh. Oh no. Don't make me do this. Oh god no. <laughs> Shit. Do I shoot or don't shoot? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's think about those possibilities. I shoot him. He drops. I guess we get the fucking bracelet or some shit. It happens. We don't shoot him. The possibility of getting stabbed and shit is a situation. And I'll be defending my best friend if I do shoot him. And if I don't shoot him, he might think I'm a puss. Uh, I think I might shoot him. I think I might come to do it. I think I might actually gonna pull the trigger on this one. Fire! Ah, out of ammo. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. That's right, we shot the six rounds at the fucking bottles. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets <laughs> next time, brainiacs. Fuck! Alright. Sorry. Alright. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. 
I wish I knew they were bullets or not, but I'll just say in my head. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, this is not good. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Since I know I have no ammo. Nah, whatever, fuck. I'm running with it. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? So where the fuck? We okay. needed Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, let's let's head out. Reminds me of like Family Guy with all the tracks. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. Please don't. Oh, such nice, such such moments like this. I'm just glad you were here. I never had Me a train too. track near my place I or think. like riveting force Chloe, and stuff like that. Why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Definitely a good question. Definitely honestly good question. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Um, they have a very frequent train schedule. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm a little freaked out. I'm not gonna lie to her about it. About it's scared, happened. man. It's crazy. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. That was. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he thinks. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. <laughs> That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, um, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Here's... Bowers. Okay. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? <sighs> anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out. You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross. Oh, I, I... He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I want to say my brain is fried for now. I want to know what happened to the bracelet, but then again, it's not anymore. that serious that losing my life. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so <laughs> weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's tweens. Like no time has passed. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Yeah, that would have been cool. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? Fuck yeah. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. That's good. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. Probably. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. Hmm. I wish I had these moments with my friends. I'd rather like, be a good photographer. Like, you know, not like that. You I have are. a lot of good friends. We have a lot of good memories. Everyone has afraid. great memories with all of us. But, like, this would be great. Perfect. Good picture. Oh. Oh. What the? What's happening? Flashback. Flashback. Tornado coming. Big tornado. Am I back to the other reality of the future? Why? Max! Help! I'm stuck! Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, Chloe. Uh-oh. Get her out of there. Are you fucking... What's that noise? That's a train! That's a train! Um, uh, ba 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 Uh, fucking... Find something! Scream Oh, oh. Oh, God. Ah, I got some stuff! Need more time, need more time. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh no, I'm good. I have the axe, I have everything I need. Okay. Max, get me out of here! Working on it! Um. 
Um, you're not. You, um, skip. Fuse box? What does fuse box do? Awesome! It's not locked. Sweet, 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 sweet. I have this pliers. Wire to cut. Yellow right. Get me out of here! Whoa! Short circuit city. It was. I'm gonna rewind. Gonna run. Okay. Get me out of here! But which wire to cut? Fuck it, green wire. Oh, stupid light! No go. Oh my god! For which fuck's sake, the red wire will cut. Now that's the right cable. Okay, okay. Pull. Yes, I did it. Oh my god! Oh, did you make it? Woo! Woo! You okay? You oh my me. god! Crazy. Woo! Now we're totally bombed. We're good! Damn. That was close. Holy shit. Aren't you glad shit. I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Fuck it was no! Cool to spend time in your lair, but. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. All my right, powers fair enough. might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww, that's so nice. That's that's cool. Alright, back to school. William with the movies. I didn't forget about you. Another stuff. Oh, dude. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. I remember one time right on my cousin my was uh, got for his car with before me. me Sorry to be and so he let he drove me one time Nothing home, and it was really really cool. Us, I always right? wanted to have Listen, my own car. My own power car back has to be connected to in high school, yesterday. which kind of sucked. That might explain your tornado vision. Yeah. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay. You're high. <laughs> Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You owe yeah, the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? No, I have no idea. What do you know no about idea. chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five right. Years ago, ass wife. Some people change, and your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. No, not a not just of that. Strange attractors. They teach you kids anything at Blackwell. Good we have point. a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor hmm. Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How True. can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah! Dude, sometimes me and Ethan are like that. We'd be cool as fuck. And sometimes not so cool as fuck. Just just like Chloe and Max's little relationship friendship they got going on sometimes it'd be really cool as hell and sometimes not so much it just happens and then me jordan and either like the three compadres and then at work it's me vincent and seth who are really cool with each other lots and lots and lots of things is that william and i have a little time before mr jefferson's class so hey mr jeff we can see mr jefferson again what's up mr jeff i cannot wait to see you i am super duper excited should we talk to David? I feel like we could. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Let's... I... Let's you talk about Chloe. it. I feel like he's a good guy. And called me a pig. And I was still wrong. Respected. I'll Respected, David. Chloe, and I'm sorry. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. Uh, if I yeah. didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When true, I was her true. age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All <laughs> <kids are. laughs> at least, so at least she. Marsh. What about what Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Uh, Kate I'm... hasn't done anything wrong. Max, Bars. this isn't just about Kate Marsh. What is it about? My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that Fair your enough. responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. 
That's let's, all, Max. Let, let's be not. Let's. I feel like he he is trying his best. He's he he knows how it feels to raise some quite a bit of hell, which is oh boring. The downsides, bruh. Now I'm sorry for that. I'm no stranger. Scrunch, scrunning, scrut, scrutinger. Kitty, there we go. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. No, I want to talk about David a little bit. I feel like David knows what's going on. He wants to make it up. He's not a completely bad guy. I want to believe he's not completely bad. He has his moments, and the combat veteran is definitely a big thing that plays a part of. Trust issue is definitely a thing. I feel like he, 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 he I think he's going to turn around in this story. I, I have good things about you, David. I, I, want to, I want to have good things. At first, I thought you were a dick. You're not as much as a dick. Um, we should, oh, is this our, is that our locker? Is that my locker? Hey! Oh, so cute. Is that my family? Is that mom and dad? Oh, that's cool. I think, yeah, there's no, yep, that's my locker. You can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Hmm. Just leave me alone. Kate, don't, don't be like that. David, be chill. All right. You jamming out here, Luke? So we're the science, ah, science class. Here you are. Well, Mr. Jefferson, I'm prepared for your class and I'm ready to take it. Let's do this. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yes, I, I did. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. She of doesn't. Not. She never did. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. True. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word uh, isn't good enough? <laughs> you have to have proof with anything. I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of I and Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. I took the picture. Everybody I took the knows. picture and then That's I rewinded. Why I to see you. Kate is I'm so upset now. I should have had that picture. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Sure. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I did. Yes, I have. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Respect Rachel it. Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. It did. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. I'm so very you don't aware. believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, <sighs> should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Alright, alright, well, things were very much private about the situation. I wonder if we can hear... Uh -huh. I think it's gonna be mm -hmm, uh -huh, for the rest. Alright, let's get to class. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. I'm reading chocolate. <laughs> I have to talk to her. I'm contemplating shit. Contemplating shit. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm sure there's a disease or something like that. Respectfully, I think it's a good photo. Alright. I don't care about neither of them. Where is my seat? That's all I care about. If I can find my seat, we are in biz. Am I, am I seeing the back of the class? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. 
like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. See, people like that discuss the living sh out of me so bad. I hate both of them. It's one of those things of bullies are always have been and forever will be a thing. I feel like that's pretty much how that's going to happen. It's always going to be a thing, and that's terrible. That is absolutely down to the core terrible, because I was bullied when I was in high uh, Pretty much through all school. Uh, I'll tell you that in an Inside the Kill Box another day, because that is a totally, a totally different story all in itself, and it's bad. And that's it's terrible. And people like you are just fucking cunts that just need another fucking thing to, tell, to say something. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too, Too fucking bad. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. There's but only me here. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. I hope In not. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. They know Assholes. something that I don't. Take my seat. Let's, let's just live through the system here. Very excited for Mr. Jefferson's class. I, this can be very interesting. And I think I still have another day to take that picture. There goes Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Hey! What's what up? up? Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Yeah. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't yeah. know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we'll you later. To cover today. Deuces, Warren. So little time I'll talk to you as later. Usual. I see all the all usual right, suspects class, here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Oh, I wish I could read through that. That'd be really interesting. Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to for people to judge. What's your problem? Judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. Oh, let me let me check my text out. And what he says is true. Some people just really going Oregon for now. Fuck that shit, elope. I don't I, I don't know what that means, but okay. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Yes, indeed. Very Speaking much. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow huh. play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't hmm. technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. What's going on Dismissed. in the girl's dorm? What could possibly be going on in the girl's dorm? That's not okay. What's happening? Is this for real? It slipped out. What do you mean? What's happening? Let me go around the corner, please. That Kate? Tell me it's not Kate. Kate! No! Kate, 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 Kate. Oh God! Oh, oh my God. God! She can't. I got. Yo, I gotta, I gotta save the situation. Kate, you're not dying on me. Not oh, it's gonna Kate. mess me up. Not now. No, I have to save. 
I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Uh, oh god. Oh come on, Kate. Oh my god, Kate, you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Can you move in slow-mo time? I froze time. Kate, no. For the love of God, Kate, things can be better. Things can get better for you. You can do it. You, things can get better for you, Kate. It doesn't have to end like this. Get the fuck out of my way, birds. Things can be so much better. Everything can be so much better. Come on. Come on. There's David hauling in. David, out of my way, please. I have to get to her. I, if I... Things like this, like, I would like to shout out to people that have this thought in their head, this process. It doesn't have to go down like this. Nothing like yes. this has to. Your friends and family will always be there for you. Come on, Kate. Come on. Can't do this now. I believe in you. Everything's gonna be fine. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you can't faint now. You cannot pass out now. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. You have to talk it out. Now I have to do this by myself. Oh! Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I have to press the right, right things. Here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, don't. I know you want to help me. I do. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Kate, everything matters. Things will get better. New matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. You do! Hey, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Come Let on. Let me help. Come like on. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Oh, thank God. I'm here for you. I right now. Right here. You, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. <sighs> I always feel like you really listen. I do. I hey, want to help you, Kate. Please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. I am this here for morning, you. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I need more time, Kate. I want to say I need more time. I'm gathering proof, Kate. I'm gathering proof. I'm here for you. I am your friend. Up. It might be a time to vent, so I'm pausing it. I am your friend, Kate. I am here for you when you need it most. I've been here for you this entire time. Your family will be there for you. People that love you will be here for you. Don't let it end like this. We are all here to band with you through this dark time, so you can see the light again. Please. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. I'm and gathering you're not the it. only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Please. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a Ugh. scumbag. Oh no. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. Yes, you do have please, my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. I am here Good. for you. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, please. Kate. You don't have to do this. Come Max, on. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up unless I put myself. Don't you dare. To sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. Don't worry do about they what they say. Web? Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh. Be strong. Everyone will forget. There are billions of videos. 
Be strong, Kate. It's not Kate, over. This is our chance to beat the bullies. That's We're here. the only way we can win. I'm against here them. for you. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're Please. such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yes! For yes! Oh, thank you! Can we hug on it? Please. No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Oh god, I should remember this. Your your mother. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You she don't does. know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. Kate, please stop. Listen. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. No. Oh. Mm. Oh, I want to look it up. I want to look it up so bad, but I'm not. I want it to be pure genuine of this video. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite oh, passages. God. Oh, thank God. Come on, Kate. Lend me your hand, Kate. Let me be your saving grace right now. I will not let you fall. Yes! I'm oh. sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's all right. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank you. I couldn't handle that situation any further. We did it. We saved Kate. Now, I know <sighs> today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Ugh. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. You're welcome. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Thank you, Jefferson. Real hero. Thank you. As principal David. of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. <gasps> I take Holy the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. No, you're right. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. Understood. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Yes. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Indeed. Indeed. Let's do it. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us te everything. She didn't tell me anything. Nathan Doster. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> Without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Yes! Whatever. See you in court. 
Excuse me. Yes. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No. I'm solid with the statement I have made. He needs to be suspended till further notice. That is a damn fact. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I Thank know you. this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Oh my god, that was stressful. That was indeed stressful. Just everything how that all unfolded. If, if you know someone that has done such a thing, like if you really have known someone that has done the act of committing I themselves suicide. I couldn't even suicide. believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And if you can and recognize this, if there's signs to this, and Max, you can recognize it. That was it, the greatest thing I've ever seen. Please ever. speak up. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. Yes, yes I'm she so did. worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it. Just one. I am so happy and a half times. it all worked out. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. There is. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? No what idea. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, it's... there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. What's happening right now? There's no eclipse. There's a random eclipse I now? You, I believe anything this week. Get out of here. You ready? And I'm sorry for that, but. And sorry, YouTube, forgive me, please, because I don't mean to copyright the music and all that. And I know you probably don't care because your system automated it automatically as, hey, copyrighted. But, oh my God. Is everything okay there? Oh, okay, it's, it's Prescott and them talking. Something, something serious talking. Oh my God, that was definitely something to behold. Like I said, if you know someone that's getting bullied, speak up, be their friend, stand up to the people that belittle others. One of my favorite books and movie. Favorite books and movie ever. I have a lot of military movies, if you don't know. I'm just going to say that right now. And I read American Sniper before. It became a big popular thing. I read the book. It had a fucking rifle on the front of it. Really nice. Really good book. And the video... The movie itself did portray. They are wolves and they are sheep. And they're sheep dogs. The wolves prey on the sheep. The sheep are defenseless. And they're sheep dogs that defend the sheep. Do not be a wolf. There will be no wolves in this house. And it's that simple. It is that simple. You will be a sheep dog or you'll be a sheep, whatever you may be. Don't let anyone that's a wolf that scare you. Stand straight up to them. It's not worth the silliness. It's not worth the pain that you watch someone else take. That was very intense. And I'm glad I saved her. Everything came out for the best. And I'm very happy for that.
So now there's the same picture before it had Rachel. It had Rachel's book right there. I don't know every time it's going to be Rachel's book or Kate's book. Pills, pen, box cutter, glue, alcohol. Don't know what's going on there. And I think that is officially chapter two's ending for today. Yes, it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been absolutely amazing as always. And the subscribers that have been here. Um, just if whoever sees the ending of this video, because not everyone finishes the video for what reason? I have no idea. But if you're here, oh, <laughs> if you are here and you're here to listen a little bit more, I'm I'm ready to uh, talk a little bit more. There's very this definitely hits a lot of home because I've been bullied before. I've been bullied a fairly good amount of time. I didn't tell anybody. My family doesn't know. No one knows at all. Period. Except for Michaela, I think. I think I told Michaela. Yeah, back in elementary school, I was bullied. Um, I used to have wart. Uh, I used to have warts um, over my fingers and. No one would let me hug them, hold their hand, or like touch them. Not all over my fingers. There's like two on the middle finger. I think one on this knuckle here. I had like two on my wrists. Well, not this one. This is a burn mark. I had like two on my wrists and like one on the side of this ring finger and like my pointed finger. And they're pretty, not huge, but they're a pretty good size. So what happened was they bullied me and I was allowed to they wouldn't let me touch anyone or high five or anything like that and i was really the quiet kid and i got made fun of it and it, it it was bad it was really bad but i pushed through i pushed through it middle school came around i'm still the quiet kid so that happened and bullying can pursued on to that then uh i started talking and i finally started talking i didn't really talk all that much Believe it or not, I know you guys watch my videos, believe it or not, I didn't really talk all that much through my middle school or my elementary school. Talked a little bit. I was a gamer through the middle school years. Xbox 360 was a thing and I finally got mine when I was like in 10th grade. Really fun. High school came, um, I got bullied a little bit more. Not as bad as it was before, but I still got bullied. But I found a lot of friends too at the same time, and I'm very grateful for all my friends I found. And when I was bullied or anything like that did happen, I was corralled and supported by my friends, and it was really nice. And it definitely changed my perspective on people and my perspective on other things, and how painful, how awesome, or how bad it can really get. And it has crossed my mind before that thought, so. It, it definitely was a thing at one point, but it's not anymore. Thank God. Gaming has always been my stress relief. And people that watch this in the future, even though gaming is a thing and gaming has its ups and downs, but for the people that use it for stress relief like I do and the family members that don't understand what gaming's really all about, if you can't understand it, then relax, breathe, push it out of the way. Let them, you know, be them. Let the people that game be gamers. Because they are some of the most amazing people I have ever met. And continue to ever meet. And it just keeps getting better and better with every single day. That's what I want to do with YouTube. I want to be a driving force of change. Good change. Charities. Meets and greets. Q&A. All of it. One day, my dream will be a reality, and I want to be there for everyone. I want to be able to make you smile and laugh at the end of the day, um, be able to make you cry a little bit, because I almost cried in this episode, believe it or not. That was an emotional moment. And just a whole bunch of other stuff. It's just all good. Like, you guys are all good. You, If my videos make you laugh, smile, cry maybe, and all that it makes you enjoy my videos like you enjoy my videos then thank you for tuning in and being here with me through this lovely journey I call YouTube or YouTubing I guess 
but you guys make my dream so much worth it every single day. I bought a terabyte hard drive today, a three terabyte, so I can record multiple videos and get my videos back up and running again and all that fun and that I cannot wait for. I love all of you. You guys honestly are the best thing in the world for me. On top of Michaela and family and all that, but thank you. I think this is going to end this video for today. If you would like more videos like this, like and comment down below. And if I touched you, put a put a comment down there. Let me let me know how how everything went for you on this episode. That's why I love this game so much cuz I can relate to it so well. And I can understand the feelings and the emotions so much. Step up when you need to. Don't be quiet when they are bullied. And please, if they are being bullied, and they need your support, be there for them. That's all I'm gonna say for this one for right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is Killzone 007, all of you out there, signing off for now.